Okay, I do want to give you guys a little bit of an extended show of the uh, the gun belt here because I was highly confused and it took me a while to figure it out. So maybe I can give you guys some insight onto how it might work for you guys. So, here, move it down there. So, basically, it comes with this strap thing. This is a Airsoft Desert Eagle BB Blaster. Calm down, YouTube. And uh, it's a very loose hooking thing here, like even just, like it just falls out like that and doesn't feel secure at all. So I was confused as to like who would ever trust their gun on such a belt thing. But I realized that if you have a regular sized handgun, you're gonna cram it into there and you're gonna pull it over this trigger guard here. And that will create a tight enough seal. It's definitely a two-handed process. Luckily, this is an unloaded BB blaster and not any kind of firearm. I'm going to pull it over the trigger. Hold on. Over the trigger guard with your two hands. And that will create a tight enough seal. There's no way I'm going to do this with one hand. And that secures it pretty good. Now, I've never had a, a natural. Um, rifle or gun before, not rifle, never had an actual gun before, so I don't actually know how safe this is, like if it's going to affect the safety, but I don't see any risk of it pulling the trigger concerning the fact that it's velcro be stretched, not velcro, but it, it's like nylonly stretched over, and so, so draw it pretty fast, minimal resistance, uh, holstering is going to be a bit of a different story, but I think that you would like unhook it place it here and then maybe try to go for like this action clearly not a one-handed process but functional operable uh the material is all right seems like it would catch some heat and maybe sweat on like a hot summer's day but i will do some field tests and let you guys know how that turns out later on in later videos that's all i got for you thanks for watching see you in the next episode Maybe you should wish it more Maybe the world